The Most Terrifying Bridges in the World In this video, we'll look at the most terrifying bridges on the planet, and explore their disturbing pasts. Let's start with number 10. A Bridge in Earthquake Country In China's Yunnan province, the cities of Baoshan and Tengchang are separated by a stretch of rugged, mountainous terrain. In 2011, the government decided to link these cities with a new expressway, a daring chain of roads, tunnels, and bridges, including the towering Longjiang Suspension Bridge. Anyone brave enough to drive across will find themselves a staggering 300 meters from the ground, desperately hoping the bridge doesn't start to shake. Longjiang is deep in an earthquake zone, a region of China with shakes so strong they've flattened entire towns. One famous tremor, in the 1970s, destroyed 400,000 local buildings in a matter of seconds. The Longjiang Suspension Bridge is fitted with high-tech, movable joints, which are designed to absorb any powerful earthquakes and keep the structure safe from collapse. But with or without these movable joints, the idea of suffering a powerful earthquake, on a platform 300 meters above the ground, is enough to make anyone nervous. Number 9. The Sunken Skyway. This colossal bridge, on the coast of Florida, traverses the mouth of Tampa Bay. It's 7 kilometers long, and offers stunning views of the Gulf of Mexico providing an easy commute between Terracea and St. Petersburg. They call it the Sunshine Skyway, but this bridge has a dark past. This is actually the second iteration of the bridge. The first was constructed in the 1950s. At the time, it was the longest bridge in the whole of America, and one of the country's finest engineering achievements. Then disaster struck on a stormy morning in May 1980. A huge freighter, the MV Summit Venture, lost control in rough conditions, and crashed into the bridge, bringing a section down into the water. Eight vehicles plunged into the ocean, including a bus full of passengers. The original bridge was later demolished and replaced by a newer, safer version. Defensive bumpers were placed in the water to protect the bridge from future collisions. And these bumpers quickly proved their worth. On the day before the new bridge opened, a shrimping vessel crashed into a bumper, sinking the ship but leaving the bridge unharmed. This version of the bridge is still standing more than 35 years later. But the Sunshine Skyway will always be haunted by its dark, harrowing past. The broken pieces of the former bridge are still lying at the bottom of the sea. Next, we come to number 8. The Skyscraper Bridge. The Sidhu River Bridge is in the Hubei Province, China. Just like the Longjiang Suspension Bridge, it was built to connect two major cities, Shanghai and Chongqing, across a stretch of mountains and ravines. These cities have a combined population of 50 million, which means the Sidhu River Bridge gets plenty of traffic. Unlike Yunnan, Hubei isn't prone to earthquakes, but that doesn't mean the Sidhu River Bridge was easy to build. The bridge spans the gap between two tall peaks, with sides so steep that they were hard for workers to access. It was so difficult to get from one side to the other, that rockets were used to cast the first cables between the peaks. This technique had never been used before, but exceptional problems require exceptional solutions. After three years of complex, treacherous work, the bridge was finally completed with a staggering drop of 500 meters between the deck of the bridge and the valley floor. To put the height of this bridge into context, the Empire State Building could be placed underneath, and there would still be room to spare. And this isn't even the highest bridge in the world. We'll get to that one later. Number 7. The Bridge of Blood and Tears. Those were the words once used to describe the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. From an engineering perspective, it's a wonder. The longest sea bridge in the entire world, it's 55 kilometers from end to end, connecting the three Pearl Bay metropoles of Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau. But this bridge is mired in controversy, after dangerous conditions led to the death of almost 20 workers during the course of construction. On top of that, in 2017, the bridge was rocked by a shocking case of corruption. Jacobs China Limited, the company who provided the project's concrete, were shown to have falsified test results instead of performing proper safety checks. Civil engineers have also claimed that the bridge's sea defenses, which are meant to protect the giant structure from powerful waves, aren't fit for purpose. The Hong Kong government has denied these claims, 
but the engineers insist the bridge is in danger. Number 6. A Bridge on Stilts Yang Baoshan Bridge is in another one of China's mountainous regions, the Guzhou province. When it comes to bridges, Guzhou is rather special. The province has almost 1,000 bridges with a deck height of 100 meters or more. To put that into perspective, there isn't a single country, outside of China, with more than 100 high-decked bridges. Italy comes closest, and that only has 60, a tiny number in comparison to Guzhou 1000. Guzhou's bridges help to streamline travel between the region's major urban centers, allowing locals to travel straight through the mountains instead of taking detours around them. For example, Yang Baoshan Suspension Bridge helps to cut the drive between Guiyang City and Wangping County from three and a half hours to one. Yang Baoshan is sometimes referred to as a bridge on stilts. The legs of the bridge are 110 meters long, almost double the length of the world's most famous suspension bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. As for the deck, it's more than 300 meters above the surging waters of the Qingshui River. It's an exhilarating and terrifying way to commute. Number 5. A Terrifying Arch Bridge. The next bridge on this list is also found in Guzhou Province. The Defuk Bridge connects Renwai with Sunyi, improving the lives of millions of people who travel between. Bridges like this are a modern miracle for the people of Guzhou. For thousands of years, the skyscraping mountains were all but impassable, but this is finally starting to change. All of the bridges we've seen so far have been cable-stayed or suspension bridges. On a cable-stayed bridge, the deck is supported by cables connected to bridge towers. On a suspension bridge, one main cable is slung between two towers, and all other cables are connected to that. But cables aren't the only way to support the deck of a bridge. The Defuk Bridge uses a tubular arch to support six lanes of the commuter highway. This type of structure is a throwback to ancient China, where wooden arch bridges were often used to cross bodies of water. Number 4. The Bridge to Nowhere. Most bridges are built for the purpose of transport. To make it easier to travel from A to B, but the Royal Gorge Bridge, in Colorado, USA, was built for a very different reason. To take a person's breath away. It's the central feature of an amusement park at the edge of the Rocky Mountains, originally built in the 1920s, and open to tourists ever since. It's literally a bridge to nowhere. When you reach the other side, you have no other choice but to turn around and come back again. At a height of 290 meters, it was once the highest bridge in the world, and even though it's lost that record, it remains as terrifying as ever. This is a bridge with blood on its hands. In 2003, a wingsuiter died while attempting to fly beneath it. He miscalculated his own proximity to the bridge, and struck a railing at a speed of almost 200 kilometers per hour. The Royal Gorge Bridge attracts thousands of thrill-seeking tourists every year, and it's easy to understand why. The next bridge on the list makes the Royal Gorge feel very, very small. Number 3. China's Tallest Bridge. Ping Tang Bridge is another example of Guzhou Province's incredible infrastructure. This cable-supported viaduct is more than 2 kilometers in length, and spans the width of the Kodu River Valley. It serves as a connection between Ping Tang and Lodian, slashing travel time from two and a half hours to one. The bridge is supported by three towers which are each the size of skyscrapers, over 300 meters from top to bottom, the equivalent of a building with 110 floors. There's a fine line between terror and wonder, and driving across such a colossal structure will leave a person feeling both. Number 2. The World's Tallest Bridge. Milau Viaduct. At the end of the 20th century, the Tarn Valley, in southern France, was suffering from crowded roads. It spans a distance of two and a half kilometers, significantly longer than Pingtang Bridge, and uses seven colossal concrete towers to support the steel deck. The largest of these is 340 meters high, making it taller than any single building in the whole of France, even taller than the Eiffel Tower. It takes two whole minutes to drive across. Two whole minutes of stomach-churning vertigo. But this still isn't the most terrifying bridge in the world. Number 1. The World's Highest Bridge. There are two ways to think about the size of a bridge. Some people measure them by the size of their towers 
That's the record held by the Milau Viaduct. Other people think about the distance of the road deck from the valley floor. In the case of Milau, the deck is 270 meters from the ground. It's a staggering height. But there's a bridge in Guzhou which doubles that distance, with several meters to spare. The Duj Bridge is right on the border between Guzhou and Yunnan. It cuts through such a mountainous area that it reduces the journey from 5 hours down to 1. Beneath the bridge is a sharp, jagged canyon, with a violent river at the bottom. That river is a dizzying 565 meters beneath the bridge's deck, the highest drop of any bridge on Earth. There are only five buildings in the entire world that wouldn't fit beneath the deck of the Duj Bridge. If a person fell off the side, it would take them almost 15 seconds to hit the bottom. That's long enough to realize what's happening, to seize up with terror, to whisper a prayer, and still have time to spare. It's a staggering, breathtaking distance, and enough to make it the most terrifying bridge in the world. Would you be brave enough to drive across any of these bridges? Which one would you find most terrifying? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe the Macula and if you want to see more interesting facts, you should watch our other videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.